Now, in the last video I made, I was talking about Thomas Paine's common sense, and uh, in this writing, he actually made the differences between society and government. However, with government, uh, he confused it, interlocking it with the state. And I'm just going to draw the line. It's going to use some of my old arguments and some new arguments, too. For starters, uh, the state. The state uses both power and authority. That's why the state's so strong. Because it uses more authority, this creates a high level of persuasion through control. Actually, just control, not persuasion. And consolidation, with that ideology to back up that consolidation, you have something that's really good. And with force, they can use force at the margins. And that's great for keeping everything intact because sometimes they're going to, most of the time, it's seemingly inevitable that you're going to have to worry about um, there being a counter force to the structure of the state whereas the government only controls via authority now society in society the bad individuals use control they use control via force these are the criminals these are the incriminating individuals. And sometimes at the very strongest, they can use their, they can take advantage of society with force and gain a lot of wealth or emotional means of profit, marginal utility, just by using force and hurting other individuals. However, with the good members of society, they don't use control, any form of control. They use influence. And this is the difference between characters of several different governments and states and characters of society leaders of society or just normal people of society those regular characters they interact in a more influential manner and this is a common psychological cliche where they talk about what makes a good leader and everyone keeps saying that what makes a good leader is influence rather than control now, I just disagree completely, but, well, not completely, 50%. I believe that control is good in some ways, but in society, you have to learn to be influential. To interact with um, a system of different people, we're all integrated or segregated in some format, instead of interacting in an entity of a institution you're gonna need more influence and control that's what separates all other forms in the end all these interactions are deterministic whether or not they have free will they're all deterministic and I'm have a really awkward flow here because I'm drawing many different concepts at once but it's true difference between governments, states, and individuals from society. Society, the good members use influence, the bad members use control. It's that simple. With government, there's only the usage of control via authority, not force. And with the state, it's the perfect fusion of control via authority and control via force. And once it reaches that z-axis, then that's where the problems occur. So yeah, this is a lot more philosophical than the other ones, but I like this video. I think I like the videos where I'm more awkward than the ones where I'm always on the spot. More spot on I am, I feel like that's like, that's like the crappy video. 
That's a boring video. But here, I think I'm making lines. It's very simple. Now I'll get to some writing for anti-statism circa 2012. I already have six pages done. That means I need four left. Uh, it's true. Society has good members, whatever good means, that influence bad members use force, which is a type of control. Governments control to authority, and states use controls via force and authority, and that's why they have this dangerous Z axis that must be removed. Alright, I'm pretty much done here. As you can see, I got that haircut. It's not what I wanted, though. But oh well, what the hell. I guess I'll have like a month of this shit before... I mean, two months before it starts going crazy again. And I gotta start cutting it.